and we're back on barrel and grain. So it's that time of season again. Time to gobble till you wobble. If you stick around, we'll show you a little bit what kind of bourbon you might want to take along to your Thanksgiving feast. So here we are, almost a week away from Thanksgiving. And that time of year brings a little bit of anxiety, also brings a lot of fun, a lot of stuff to look forward to of seeing family and friends again. When it comes to seeing those family and friends, you might find yourself in a store trying to pick out a bottle and looking at 150 options and just be like, man, what do I get? So I'm here today to try to give you a little bit of a heads up, and it's all about knowing the crowd you're going to. So number one on my list, if you're going to a crowd, and maybe you got some people who thought they like bourbon, they want to try it, and they're like, it's pretty cool. We see you got a lot of bottles on Facebook. But I recommend Basil Hayden Toast. This here is a great beginner for anybody that's not been into whiskey and wants to try some. Keyword is going to come out of their mouth is smooth. Every beginner has the first thing is smooth. This one here, finished sweet caramel. I'll tell you what, this actually is a really easy drinking bourbon. This is one of my favorite bourbons to drink at the end of the night when I'm just winding down. I don't want something strong. I don't want something to give me a hangover in the morning. This is the bottle I switch to. It comes in at 80 proof. It's not strong. They put brown rice in this. This stuff is fantastically easy to drink. All right. Number two. Number two is for a little bit of an upper tier above the basil hayden section you might have someone that's tried a few bourbons you might have someone that's well you know i drink whiskey once in a while and you're like i want to bring something but you don't want to spend a fortune because they don't drink it all the time and it's not going to probably appreciate it like you'd expect them to so what i recommend jack daniels triple mash this one here is a blend of rye tennessee whiskeys and american malt this one has a lot of flavor to it. And this here comes in, I think, around 30 to 40 bucks, depending on where you're at. Uh, 100 proof. So it's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it. It's not obviously, it's not your Basil Hayden's, but it's also not boring. This is a fantastic tasting whiskey. A lot to it. You're going to show people that Jack Daniels is a little bit more than the old number seven. So if you want to surprise someone, bring some of this and you won't break the bank. And you also won't be mad if they don't like it because you only spent 40 bucks on it. All right, next one, number three. Number three is for someone who drinks bourbon. You might be going to your family. You got your brother, your dad there. They all drink whiskey on, on a normal basis. It could be going to a friend's giving. And you have friends who like bourbon. And you don't want to go wrong. You also don't want to go with something crazy. Maybe you don't want to spend 100 bucks and surprise them with something new, you know what I mean, that's allocated. You just want to get a good, solid bourbon, show up, show that you care, show that you're willing to push something out there. So I recommend this one, Woodford Double Oak. This one here comes in at 90.4 proof. Obviously, Double Oak is what it is. It's been done in two different barrels. Um, this one here is chocolate. Charred chocolate gives you a lot of flavor. There's no one that's brought a Double Oak to a party and someone complained about it. Everybody's going to love this. This can also be taken the same thing as the tier number two, where you're trying to bring something good, show them some. But this one is a little bit more pricey. It's usually about 60 bucks compared to your 30 or 40. So this is more, if you take something like this, it's more trying to impress just a little bit more, I guess. All right, number four. So number four comes in. It's the, you got done eating all your turkey. You pound the green bean casserole you hit the baked corn you ate the pumpkin pie and you're getting ready to hit the couch again see what the game's going on because who doesn't watch football during thanksgiving day and you're like man i can go for some a little sweet so i what i personally would do i would break out and finish bourbon the one i recommend is carl t huber's this is, uh, starlight distillery Single barrel finished in sherry barrels. This one comes in at 111.6 proof. So you're definitely going to taste this. The sherry comes on at the end. It is super sweet. It goes great for a nice dessert. And that's what I would consider this one. 
And this is actually my second one. This one here is actually a barrel pick. These things are really great. So you can find these in stores. There's a lot of places that have these barrel picks still floating around. If it's not a barrel pick, the sherry barrel finish definitely is something way to go. Uh, I highly recommend it. I think it comes in about $55 to $60 again. Same as a double oak. This makes a great dessert finish. And this also could be for someone that drinks whiskey. Could be someone that's drank whiskey the entire life, but you know what I mean? You want to bring something a little bit special, a little bit different. Or it could be, say, like, could be your, your friend's wife. She wants to try whiskey, but she likes wine. Well, here you go. Here's the bridge. And for my last one, number five. Number five is important. Because number five, you're going to a friend's. You're going to a family, and they love whiskey. And you're like, man, I've been waiting all year to break this out. I need something to show, take there. Something's going to be like, oh, when they see it pulled out of the bag. For me, this is what I would recommend right now. Bardstown Chateau de Labade. This is number two. I've seen this actually quite a bit around. This is still findable at this time of year in most places. This comes in about 170, 175 bucks. This is not something that you would give someone beginning. I mean, they probably would drink it too, but they're probably not going to appreciate it as much as you expect them to. Uh, this is something that you want to impress somebody with. This bourbon is a roller coaster on your tongue. It has all kinds of flavor, and this is something that someone is going to really enjoy that's into whiskey and has been down that road and tried lots of stuff. This is going to be special. That's why I recommend this. So that's my five recommended Thanksgiving bourbons to take to a friend's family or wherever you might be going for these holidays. Somewhere you're going to go and enjoy your holiday weekend. So until next time, I thank everybody for stopping in. Please be safe this holidays. Enjoy your friends and family. If you see any of these bourbons, you should definitely try any of them. They're all good. None of these here is going to turn away anybody. And until then, keep hunting.